Well, hello my darlings and welcome to a very special vlog. This is our honeymoon vlog. It's actually already day six. <laughs> day six of the honeymoon. We are nearly halfway through, oh my goodness. And it's just been so magical. We have truly been relaxing on the beach and in the villa just reading eating amazing food and having the most wonderful time this is actually the first time on this entire trip that i've put proper makeup on aside from a little bit of bb cream and lip balm and done something with my hair although pretty pointless because it's so humid um, that I don't think this is going to last and that's because we actually had our first little rain shower this afternoon um, so we had a bit more time in the villa so I thought I would actually make a little bit of effort but to be honest the reason that one of the many reasons that we wanted to come back to this island um, our favorite hotel in the whole world is purely because it is so chilled it's so relaxed i would say that most evenings you know it's a it's a barefoot barefoot island um and most people most ladies just pin their hair back minimal makeup it's very very chilled which is why we just absolutely love it here so i thought i would i thought i'd pick up the camera and do a little bit of vlogging now that we are fully settled in we've um i will catch you up on some of the things that we've done so far what we've been reading some of the activities that we've been doing but tonight is maldivian night charlie's is finishing and getting ready and we're heading over to the main restaurant there are so many different kind of eating options here from the leaf restaurant which is more plant-based this is the island with the largest kitchen garden in the maldives so perfect for us there's a japanese restaurant um there's been an indian themed dinner there's been a thai themed dinner and tonight is maldivian it's so very very typical cuisine of where we are so i shall bring you along for that outfit of the evening very relaxed dress from posse that I got from Netta Porter just before we came. Can't wait to bring you along for a few days sneak peek into our honeymoon. Cheers, darling. Cheers. This is the island's homemade kombucha, which we loved last year. It is lovely. It is really nice. They're very good at healthy drinks here, aren't they? The thing is, what I would say is they're very on trend with all the trends, but they're not doing it just for the trend. So yeah. like when kombucha was popular, which was last year, with Tim Spence sort of making it a bit more popular in the UK, they were on it, but they've maintained it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And they're still making it, and it's obviously still popular. But yeah. yeah. They do, I mean, there's so many healthy options. Very so gut friendly, isn't it? Because you've got kimchi at breakfast. Yeah. You've got um, some apple cider vinegar shots at breakfast. Mm -hmm. And then this. They're truly on it. I wanted to tell the vlog that you have successfully made friends with everyone on the island. <laughs> It's a very good skill of yours. Well, I don't know. I think. Do you know what I found today? Well, firstly, I'm just. I just love meeting new people. But I also love learning about all the different countries people are from. Yeah. And we play a bit of a fun game where we're like, we sort of guess based on what people look like, where they're from. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, are they Argentinian? Are they um, French? Are they, you know? And we have met so far a lady from Ghana, a gentleman from Zambia, two Swiss couples, one German, one French. So very different. Uh huh. Um, a Dutch couple from Rotterdam. Aussies. Uh, Australians. Uh, Americans. Number of American Texas. families. A Saudi Arabian couple, which is, we had some really interesting chats with. Um, Poland. Couple Georgia. A couple of Russians. Um, Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, Georgia. I found that really interesting. So yeah, lots of lovely people. Mm. But I also did, and obviously a couple of British people, which is lovely. But what I also found is today, I don't know why, but I was filled with guilt that there were a few couples on the island that I've often like chatted to the ones that we've chatted to a number of times nearby, and then never made an effort to chat to them just because it's not worked. So then I've kind of tried to put my put, and not everyone. Look, I mean, I appreciate some people are here just to chill out and don't want me chatting or whatever. <laughs> um, but it's it's nice, right? Like we like we're here two weeks, so it's nice to meet people come and go as well it's quite sad in a way <laughs> we're like the furniture the dutch couple left last night didn't they and they were much older than us but just um super sweet and uh, it feels quite sad isn't it yeah. probably look probably we will not see them again because the world's that big but um 
Yeah, we've learned a lot, haven't we? From and um, a couple of couples that we saw here last year. So there's a few return guests. One couple, well, one couple. And really. then they've got their friends yeah, with them. Yeah, 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 from England. From not far from us, from Leamington Spa, which is mad. Yeah. Really nice people. Um, so yeah, it's been a good, it's been a good, we've actually, so we, yeah, we've been here, how long have we been here? Six nights, six days. And we've really settled in. We've stayed off our technology as best as we can. Mm -hmm. And it's just a nice, yeah, relaxing, lovely honeymoon, isn't it? Yes. We've decided, yeah. I am not. I've been full on Factor 50 and I good. have not caught You've the got sun. A tiny bit of redness on your chest as well. So. Oh, yeah, I always do that. Anyway, there let's enjoy go. our kombucha and food is on its way. So we had every intention of having Maldivian tonight, but then we decided it was a day for comfort food. We'll, have, well, the Maldivian menu was lovely. We decided purely because we had a lot of food yesterday. Yeah that we would have Maldivian another night, but actually you've ordered a curry anyway, because it was a Maldivian curry on the menu. I know, it? but their butter chicken, oh, the food Maldivian here is sensational. beef fish at lunch in my poke bowl. But you've actually gone for a Cotswold pub dinner tonight. Well, it's, it's typical because we've eaten really healthily and quite authentically for most of this trip. We've eaten a lot of Thai food, which they serve a lot of Thai food in the Maldives because of the proximity, well. And Thai Indian chefs, food. Indian yeah. food. Um, but However, tonight, after a little bit of rain, we felt like some comfort food. Look at this. Yum. Beautiful. Bon appetit. started with a torrential rain shower <laughs> and some aerial yoga which I did last year when we were here and I just absolutely love it it's such a good stretch luckily it's clearing up now and we're about to head for breakfast just waiting for my sun cream to sink in we like to give it a good 15 minutes to sink in because the sun is so strong here so while I'm waiting for it to sink in I thought I would share a few of my a few favorite products that we bought with us on our honeymoon a few kind of eco environmental sustainable favorites firstly I spoke about this um, probably a couple of years ago this is my wild deodorant I follow a girl on Instagram and she was giving a lot of advice on how to make changes um, with regards to cutting out a lot of the chemicals and toxins that we use knowingly or unknowingly on a regular basis and her top tip was to just make natural swaps when you run out of something it can be really overwhelming to go out and buy a whole new set of cleaning products or body products and so her best recommendation was as something runs out try and find a more natural alternative Deodorant is one of those things that luckily there are literally no downsides to switching to a more natural deodorant. Wild, um, so this is my one that I've bought with me, it's actually personalised. I hope you can still get them personalised. If you can, I'll leave all the info for that down below. Comes with little compostable refills, so you're actually saving, I think they've saved over 200 tonnes of plastic going into landfill. You essentially twist out the bottom, put the compostable refill in here. It's free from aluminiums, from um, all the nasty ingredients, and it's super moisturising, and they've got so many gorgeous smells, and a whole lot more natural for you as well. So this, uh, this I would say, is a swap that you can make to be a lot more natural with the products that you use without making any sacrifices. Charlie and I have been truly putting these to the test while we've been here. It is so hot, so humid, we've been to the gym every single morning and 
smelling great <laughs> thanks to this so very very happy to have partnered with wild i'm going to leave a discount code down below that will get you 20 percent off your order or 20 josie is a code that you can use they have loads of colors of the refillable containers um also every time you make a purchase they plant a tree which is great um they do body wash as well which is another way of making a really lovely more natural swap into your beauty routine but I get so many questions about these more natural deodorants, whether they work or whether they're worth it. And Wild, just for me and Charlie, ticks all the boxes. It's a very sleek little compact, very moisturizing, lovely to use, really works. You smell amazing um, and so much kinder to both your body and to the planet. So definitely something that I would recommend if it works here in the Maldives at this heat <laughs> with the workouts that we've been doing, then that is a very good test i would say also when we're out here i'm really conscious of the ingredients within the spf that we're using this is actually a brand that they sell here on the island it's called kula i've got spf 50 it's the guava mango version smells absolutely amazing and as you can see we've been here for over a week now and i'm not burnt <laughs> so it's doing a really good job 70 percent organic ingredients um high protection hydrating and nourishing uva and uvb really important to check both and it's really important overall but especially here in the maldives to look for more natural ingredients because of dipping in and out of the sea we want to be as considerate as we can to the sea life and the coral and lots of chemically ingredients um there's actually two ingredients in particular octanoxate and oxybenzone a drop of those ingredients could kill or damage the coral in an olympic swimming pool sized amount of water so really really important to be considerate Obviously the SPF, a little bit less relevant <laughs> to the UK in January, but the deodorant and this, my ocean bottle, are two sustainable swaps you can make no matter where you are in the world. So Charlie and I are both obsessed with our ocean bottles and we take them everywhere with us. This is probably my favorite colorway. I think it is actually a limited edition, so hopefully there's still some of this one in stock. Um, but they're fantastic because they're really lightweight. You can put them in the washing not washing machine <laughs> you can put them in the dishwasher um again they are preventing plastic from going into the oceans when you're in a place like this you're really conscious of ocean plastic they actually have the maldivian women's cricket team here on the island at the moment and they're doing a plastic clear up they're very on it here even at this hotel there's actually no single use plastic which is incredible but um whether on holiday or at home china i like to use our ocean bottles keeps your drink cool or warm um you can use it like a normal water bottle or hopefully this is not too full you can take the top off and use it as a little coffee cup so it's just really really handy and prevents you from having to get caught out and having to get a single use plastic bottle when you're on the go especially when traveling so yeah those are my top three little kind of sustainable swaps that we've been making uh, recently that we've made especially out here in the Maldives and I thought I would also mention the book that I'm reading this is Outlive from Dr. Peter Atia and Charlie's mum and dad actually bought me this <laughs> they know me well it's really really fascinating I think I'll do a full-on kind of book review when I've finished it I'm about two-thirds of the way through and what this book is talking about is ways to extend your health span so if your lifespan is the amount of time that you physically live your health span are the years that you're fit and healthy able to play with your grandchildren climb up flights of stairs no problem and things like that so obviously we want to extend our health span because there's no point in retiring aged 70 and then only having 10 years of being able to move around and enjoy life so it's a little bit of um, a lot of chat about exercise and the kind of movements that you can do a lot of chat about nutrition um, it talks a lot about the four horsemen so the four biggest killers which are cancers cardiovascular diseases Alzheimer's and um, type 2 diabetes and the things that we can do right from our 20s and in our 30s to help combat and fight those prevention rather than cure. Dr. Peter Atia used to be a cancer 
and trauma doctor and I guess he kind of got fed up of being the final port of call like the last chance when you go in to have your operation and your treatment he just kept thinking how so many people wouldn't need to be on his operating bed had they put some preventative measures in years and years in the past so yeah finding this very interesting I do find these educational books take me a little bit longer to read so I'm definitely gonna switch to a more light-hearted read after this one I've got a few like girly books that I'm gonna read after this but um, yeah anyway I think our sun cream has probably sunk in enough now we are now gonna head over to the incredible overwater restaurant which is called longitude which is just the most amazing breakfast here on this island they are very conscious of organic ingredients um they're very gut health friendly totally ahead of ahead of the curve um you can get kefirs you can get kombuchas they really champion amazing quality fresh ingredients which is actually probably mine and charlie's number one reason for loving this island that the food is so good the food is amazing it's like just as I mentioned yesterday, not flashy, it's luxurious, but in quite a chilled way. The people that we've met here are just absolutely lovely. Um, yeah, it's just heaven, absolute heaven. So without further ado, let's head to breakfast. And then I think we're getting a tour of one of the beach villas, one of the bigger beach villas, because it would be a dream for Charlie and I to be able to bring family here one year, obviously, financially independent um but yeah that is the plan for today and then of course we'll spend the whole afternoon lying on the beach trying to finish our books but anyway time for breakfast look at this amazing <clears throat> yakitori how incredible my darlings it's a few hours later and we have just finished our spa treatments how was your treatment darling immense immense yeah but it was also Whoa. good because i'm sure lots of hotels do this but we one of the many plethora of things we love about six senses is that they've got the resident um they always have a resident Specialist. practitioner yeah and so last year was a chap from India who did like amazing deep tissue and as it happened it worked really well with the injury I had at the time. Mm -hmm. This year they've got a British, well she's from Sweden, um, but she lives in the UK, Kimmy, and she is a chiropractor and an osteopath. She studied both oh, wow. disciplines in the UK and practices out of a practice in Liverpool Street now. Mm -hmm. She's here two months. It was quite a painful sort of neck focus massage from my neck and cracking my neck and I do feel better. It always yeah. normally takes a bit, I have more movement. But it always takes a little bit more time to judge whether it's better or not. Mm -hmm. But it was really good. And um, yeah, so, so super good. happy. And yours was really good. Yeah, mine was amazing. I still have the lines mm -hmm. on my forehead. It was like a rose oil treatment, which was just gorgeous, including some facial massage. Um, so we're heading for dinner now. And tonight is actually my favorite dinner evening, if I remember correctly from last year. It's the Asian street food market. Yeah. It's going to be so I'd yummy. say your favorite two are both the markets and probably my yeah. two. It's the Mediterranean Spice Souk, they call it, mm -hmm. which is the one that had the Italian and had pasta, had amazing food. Yeah. But this, I think, is the best. And this is actually the best value because there's sushi, there's sashimi, there's lobster, there's like, exactly. I think so. Mm. There's like unreal food. Yeah. Um, so let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. My perfume for this evening is bug spray <laughs> because I'm getting eaten alive out here. But there we go. And my hair product for the evening is the oil from my massage. Very, very chilled. My lipstick is Beauty Pie. I haven't got a clue what the name is, but it's this most gorgeous, like, coral colour. I will link it down below. And there we go. Right, darling, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's, Let's go. Do this. We haven't even got to our table yet, but I just have to show you this epic stir fry station. That's five choices of noodle up at the top there. This gentleman is going to whiz up the most delicious stir fry noodles. We've got a selection of barbecue kebabs. Wow, we are in for a treat. This is the pho, pho <laughs> noodle soup station. Look at all these delicious ingredients and a trio of 
spring rolls. My goodness, this is just gonna be so delicious. This is the station where my dreams come true. We have got the most delicious chicken grilling over here. Oh my goodness. An Indian lassi. Oh, hoo -hoo, fresh chapati. Yum, thank you. Wow. Chicken tikka. Oh my gosh, <laughs> thank you. So delicious. Oh my gosh. Very, very scrumptious. delicious breakfast and we're now getting a tour of one of the bigger villas this one's called the retreat which is obviously a beach villa just in case we want to come back with family next year or the year after it's good to see what the options are so we're getting a little a little walk through it's a fabulous spot to have a little afternoon coffee or a spot of lunch overlooking the lagoon this contraption here is a sand dredger so they move sand from different parts of the island so that they can manipulate the beach gosh this is such a perfect setup so there's actually three rooms one in there one in here one above um, and they're all quite private but then obviously you've got these communal areas this gorgeous little breakfast room overlooking the ocean 20 meter pool which would just be amazing for doing the lengths and then in there where Charlie is more of a communal kind of sitting room oh just fantastic so at the moment we are in one of these water villas but yeah we were thinking about what we could do in the future for a big family trip that would just be oh, the dream come true and then this incredible big netting area where you can lounge and sunbathe listening to the sound of the lapping waves. So it's time for lunch after an hour or so on the beach and Charlie and I both have a favourite drink here. It is the homemade kombucha that they make here on the island. A fermented tea that's been consumed for thousands of years. The same health benefits as tea, but also rich in probiotics and antioxidants. I've got the plain. Yeah. What I love is they just, they clean out the old bottles. This was from a tiger beer. Yeah, all reused uh, bottles. they just reuse it. So they reuse all the bottles. Such a good idea. Labels. This is the mango flavor. This tastes a lot more mango this time. Oh really? Because obviously it develops flavor as it goes. Yeah, didn't they say they ferment it for 14 days? Mm. Yeah. So nice. And you get a little um you get a little scoby inside it, which is the kind of like the mother. Ooh, here we go. Here he is, the main man. Best for catcher in the Maldives. Mmm. Ooh, yummy. Thank, Thank you. you. But it's so refreshing. Definitely gonna have to try making a kombucha at home. Good 
Good morning, my darlings. I've put my very dorky hat on this morning. We are heading. <laughs> We're very colourful next to the end. incredibly dorky. What have you got on, darling? Green and green and oatmeal. Green and oatmeal. Very nice. That's what I'm having for breakfast. <laughs> green and Our oatmeal. Greens. <laughs> Lovely. And I've got my Agua Bendita swimsuit and a little matching sarong, which is very twee. And my Nessa Porter order, I don't think I updated you, but the Nessa Porter order that I was hoping was going to arrive literally the day that we flew, as we were going down the drive to get to the airport, the DHL chap <laughs> was coming down the drive towards us, so I managed to get my cute little Luebe Lima bag. So this is our morning commute to breakfast. Past the water villas. We're actually really early to breakfast this morning because we didn't do our usual gym workout because it's Sunday, so it might be a little bit quieter. This is the best breakfast station in any hotel that I think I've ever been to. A selection of Ayurvedic honeys, some good for the gut kimchi, a little hummus station, We've got peanut hummus, pea hummus, beetroot, regular. I'm gonna take, mm, I'm gonna try beetroot hummus this morning. Loads of different international stations, fried rice, there's a selection of, good morning a selection of healthy drinks. They do something here called shrubs and it mentions all the different health benefits. So it protects your cells from damage, cancer causing, helps fight cancer causing free radicals, speeds up digestion. And then you just mix one of these with some sparkling water. I also love this goji berry juice. It is delicious. All the different milks. There's a fruit station over there being freshly prepared. And it's a bit backlit, but this is the corner that would make Tim Spector very proud. It is a seed and nut station. My favorites, macadamia nuts. Such an amazing choice. such an incredible selection of different honeys. I'm trying to try all of them. I think actually my favorite so far that I've tried is the thyme honey from New Zealand. Again, it also tells you all the different health benefits, antibacterial, treatment for sore throats. I should maybe have had that again this morning because I did get a little bit of a sore throat from the aircon last night. This gentleman is creating pancakes. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> different shapes, mantas and turtles. <laughs> Thank you. And then the pastry selection, oh my goodness, these are sensational. Cinnamon rolls, carrot muffins. I just asked what this was here. I'm not familiar with this, but this is called snake fruit. I've actually never seen this before. You can see why it's called snake fruit. Really looks like it's got little scales on it. Very popular in Indonesia. And this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness, it really does look scaly. Snake fruit. Let me know if you've ever tried this before. I'm gonna give it a go. Okay, so this is my favorite breakfast here. It's actually a pea hummus on sourdough. Normally I get rye bread. Um, there's some lovely microgreens. I've got some lovely microgreens on top, some prosciutto, and then a little side of avocado. And then I'm gonna do a bowl of yogurt with my nuts and my avocado honey. Oof, delish. So cool, wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, even the eyes. Cute. 
My favorite chef has just delivered me a turtle pancake this morning. He's even got little eyes. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. How incredible. I'm going to go and add some yogurt, some maple syrup. What a scrumptious Sunday morning breakfast treat. exceptionally British and we are now complaining that it's <laughs> too hot. It's probably about 35 degrees. As you can see, I'm feeling a little bit like a roast tomato despite triple triple application of SPF 50. We're heading out of the sun now to have some lunch. I've popped on my lovely honorine little beach dress, which is perfect for lunch by the pool. I'm not as red as I look <laughs> on this camera, um, but the swimsuit that I'm wearing, it's a bandeau top and little, uh, little brown bottoms. Ooh. It's from a brand called Lido or Lido, and it was another of the bits that arrived in my very last minute Net-a-Porter order. And then I've just been wearing my Gucci sunglasses pretty much non-stop. I saw something on Instagram, a little hack on how to do like a high plait in your hair so it's not all floppy. Attempted that this morning and it's been the perfect beach hairstyle. This is the perfect spot to quickly rinse down at the seawater before heading into lunch and this is where we've been spending the last couple of hours on the sun chairs at the Sip Sip Beach this one's called. Perfect. We've got a couple of coconuts in the freezer for us to enjoy later but now it's time for lunch. Feeling very grateful for my Freddy fan at lunch today. Classic kombucha. The menu is amazing. I think I'm, what are you gonna get darling? So my favorite dish here, because it's difficult when you're on holiday, isn't it? Because sometimes the temptation is just to order whatever you're in the mood for. Mm. I'm like, no, do you know what? I'm gonna make the most of the fish while we're here. Yeah. So I love their coconut ceviche, mm. which is like a local reef fish. We'll show you shortly what it looks like. They serve it in a coconut and it's amazing. And then I'm gonna have the Ol Huveli salad, which is a marinated local leek caught fish, tuna cutlet, island greens, and rihaku. Rih nice. That is. So quite healthy, but not for no other reason other than I'm just craving fish. Nice. So what are you gonna have? Oh. Should I have two, two sides for you? I think you should get the chicken shawarma wrap. Chicken shawarma, no, I'm not in the mood for a wrap actually. I do wanna try the truff truffle and cheese smash burger. Dill Shan's fried chicken. Where's that? Braised and braised, brined and buttermilk fried chicken, grilled cheese, classic sauce. Oh, that does sound good. So many delicious options. It's now half past five ish, nearly six o'clock. We've spent the entire afternoon on the beach. We've met a new British couple in the ice cream station. And we've just spent the last hour reading as the sun starts to go down. It's definitely my favorite time of day. It's just so calm and relaxing here on the beach. So this is where a few of the boats are moored for some of the water sports. There's a couple of traditional Maldivian Dhoni boats over there, still rather toasty. Ooh, looks like someone's having a romantic dinner on the beach here later on. And the tide has come in, so the hammocks are submerged. I like to swim lengths between the two hammocks. I like to do 20 lengths a day after our gym workout. I think it's going to be a rather spectacular sunset this evening. But we're going to head back to our villa, have a quick shower. And then we've got dinner at the Leaf restaurant tonight. <laughs> so this is the kitchen garden here on the left and that restaurant up there is where we're going for dinner. You might remember this if you watched our Maldivian vlog from last year. Might be getting a little bit of deja vu. Good <laughs> Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. This is our commute from the beach back to our villa.
so we've got changed and we're here at Leaf. I remember looking at this last year and thinking it was very apt for how we like to live, but I think even more so this year. It feels like it's our mantra. Choose natural, local, it, sustainable ingredients. It should say, buy a sausage dog. Yeah. Move to the Cotswolds. Yeah. And then. And then all of those. Yes. Sorry. Buy two long-haired miniature dachshunds. Yes, specifically. Yeah. I agree. Called Dexter and Dickens. But very good mottos to live by. The adventure begins. We cross this rickety little bridge to get into the restaurant. If we get in there sharpish, we might just get a little sunset. We have got a table with a view, an ocean view. Looks like someone's having a, a beach dinner down there as well. And you can have a little look in the centre area where the chefs are creating the magic. I've got a feeling it might be a set menu tonight, so let's wait and see. So this is a daily changing menu. It all looks absolutely delicious. Charlie was saying that they're moving towards an all-female uh, chef setup here. I'm definitely tempted by the roast aubergine and the tagliatelle short rib. Mm, scrum. So we're starting off with a deep fried goat's cheese amuse-bouche and then we've got a trio of homemade butters here. Garden herb, regular, and then a traditional Maldivian curry butter. Cannot wait to dig in. hot and sweaty start to today's part of the vlog. Charlie and I have come to the gym bright and early. This is actually I think our eighth morning coming to the gym. We only missed yesterday morning. It was Sunday yesterday and we just did some stretches on our little jetty instead. So feeling really good that we've been sticking to the habit. It's Monday today and I think at the weekend there was quite a big guest changeover. We pretty much feel like part of the furniture now. A lot of people come for 10 days or 12 nights. So far I don't think we've met anyone else that's here for two weeks. Um, so yeah, we've seen quite a few people come and go and this set of guests arrived this weekend. There's a few more gym goers so it's a little bit busier in the gym in the morning so I don't think I'll be able to film any more of my routine. I'm just following a Peloton um, gym workout from their app. They are so good, especially if you just need someone telling you what to do, but it's not a real person in real time, if you know what I mean. It's a really good workout. Um, sometimes Charlie and I do workouts together, sometimes we do more um, like cardio, but today I'm doing a little bit of weights, which is making me feel really good. I've popped on, this is a Voiry top and Adenola bottoms and then I've got my that's a better way of showing you Oop. Vivo barefoot trainers and these are really good when you are weightlifting <sighs> I just needed to step outside and catch my breath because it is a challenging one this morning so I'm going to get back in for another 20 minutes and then we'll freshen up shower and head to breakfast Shower and heading over for breakfast. I wanted to show you 
in action my next Agua Bendita swimming costume. They are just so gorgeous. I wish I could shorten the straps on this one again just a tiny bit. I don't have the same body ratio as the fit models. Um, and I've popped on these lovely, comfy, very lightweight trousers from Mango. They've also, this is going to be acrobatics, but they've also got shells down here at the bottom, which makes them really cute. And then taking my little Lima bag, which is rather adorable. Charlie and I are both taking our wild nutritions, taking them to breakfast with me. And ocean bottle, I'll fill that up at breakfast probably with a matcha latte because then we're going to spend the morning here at the villa. But anyway. I was thinking, by the way, wild yeah. nutrition yeah. should make a travel. That's what I said I wanted to do yeah. with them. I wanted to design Because we got, I got this off some Instagram brand called like Manox. It's not a very good name. It is a your good, face can only see your pecs. It is a good product. Um, but it's been really good for me because mm -hmm. you you take the sachets, I do. but for me I, t I it varies. I look very red on this camera. You don't. Not quite as red as that in real life. Um, I take a variety depending on the time of year and stuff. Right. So I mix it up a little bit. So that is oh, this is so useful. <laughs> but wild nutrition needs to make one. The pecs can talk. Right, let's go. So every day, oop, <laughs> I missed the handle. <laughs> I just went like this and missed the handle. <laughs> Every day they have a different, um, they call it their adaptogenic coffees. Sometimes it's a matcha or a chai, but sometimes it's a really funky combination of ingredients. Today's one is an, uh, an almond, banana and maca coffee. Very nice. You're a creature of habit, darling, aren't you? Mint tea. Mint tea. Yeah. Why are you not so obsessed with coffee out here? Because I'm trying to limit my caffeine. And I have a coffee before my workout, so I have a coffee on the first week. Right. I have mint tea. This is my routine in England as well. Tell everyone how much food you've ordered for breakfast. I have ordered today because I did a big workout. <laughs> it's the special on the menu, the breakfast. They always have a breakfast special on the menu, which is also really nice. So yeah. All amazing buffet. And today it's steak and eggs. Steak so and I've eggs. Two steaks and two eggs. You are a porcupine. A and avocado. Wow. Why not? That is a, that a good fat breakfast. Yeah. yeah, certainly not good to have that every day, but every now and again. When, and I'm, I'm just feeling really hungry this morning, so. Yeah. Peter Atia in his book said the three things for <laughs> best, best fats for longevity are avocado, olive oil, and nuts. macadamia nuts. Yeah, that's the best fats for us apparently. I still rate Greek yogurt, Greek yogurt for me. Yeah. It works well because it's not just about longevity, it's also about what satiates you for the longest of the day. Yeah, I think nuts do as well though, don't yeah, they? Yeah, that's why yogurt, nuts and seeds. Yeah. That, that actually makes me less hungry than yeah. having an eggs breakfast, believe it or not. Than what? An egg? Than having eggs. Yeah. yeah. Well, but equally, trying to sort of keep up with the sort of Tim Spector approach of diversity mm -hmm. and not have the same breakfast every day. Yeah, like I was so. very tempted to have my green pea hummus and um, yeah. rye bread, but it's nice to mix it up. gone for shakshuka. And we're very spoiled right here with the choices, a lot of choices oh, that we wouldn't normally have in incredible. UK, so it's kind of like we'll make the most of it while we have it. Yeah. Because I would never really have the energy or the time to cook steak and eggs for breakfast. No. I did have pancakes, yogurt, cinnamon bun, and my avocado thing yesterday, and I felt so bloated all day. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's why breakfast. Do you not overeat? Um, and we have a light lunch. Which is not so I'm best meal of the fresh. day. The thing is, everyone's holidays that people want different priorities. For us, particularly given this is January, we want to enjoy our food, but we also want to come back feeling healthy and in good shape. Yeah. So it's a fine balance. We still have desserts, still have ice cream, yeah. but still have that balance. So you look yeah. forward to it rather than just overeating the whole holiday. Yeah, because you want to feel good. Not good. That's all. Yeah, anyway. well, we're very lucky here. It's all organic, <laughs> locally sourced. Well, mostly locally sourced ingredients. Obviously, yeah, it's, it's a limit. There's a limit, but I think the nice thing is it's certainly more local than other items. Yeah, and it's all really fresh, lovely ingredients. Mm -hmm. Bon appetit. This is for all of my followers that find Charlie very handsome. What's that? Sorry. I said this clip is for my followers that find you very handsome. No, I'm feeling. No, I'm feeling a little bit more bloated today, I think, because we ate quite a lot last night. <laughs> he says, with his six-pack rippling in the dapple like sunshine. Red forehead. Yeah. You are a little bit pink. Beautiful day, isn't it? But then you are Dickie's daddy, so pink Tommy runs in the summer. <laughs> they should sell these here, actually. We're they should. We're going to try and pitch them, yeah. aren't we? Because um, 
Yeah, it's just, it's, I think this is the perfect target audience. Mmm, yeah. ocean bottle. Ocean bottle. By the ocean. Yes, the yeah. Well, it's, it is it's kind of turquoise. Colour, no, it's more turquoise, like the flying turtle seaplane. Yeah, and purple. Yeah, not purple. Mm. Like Qatar. This is a little table that you can have breakfast or lunch at. And then you can have a look at the sea down below while you're snuffling. It's quite private here. You've got little side, what do you call it? Side um, flags. Side bits. In case you want to do some nude sunbathing. Tee -hee. Okay, we've spent a couple of hours down by the villa enjoying some sunbathing time and I've actually nearly finished my second book of the trip. I will probably finish this one in 24 hours, which is a good record. It's, um, it's a little bit Bridgerton-esque, which I wasn't quite expecting, but it's, um, it's good fun. But anyway. East Endersy, isn't it? Huh? The East Endersy. No, Bridgerton-y. <laughs> it's a bit Bridgerton-y. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this because it's absolutely adorable, but when you arrive here you get given a little personalised um, name plates, little registrations for your bike, so we've got our initials, and then we've noticed that when it's someone's birthday, while they're on the island, they get a little birthday plaque, which is adorable. Is Mood of the day? Amazing. Mood of the day? Amazing. Oh, it's it's quite crazy how much the high tide and low tide changes. The first day we were here it was 11.30, mm. yesterday I think it was 3.30. It's the moon though, isn't it? I think so. 84% humidity, that would explain my hair. Eating my greens for lunch, this is a kohlrabi um, yeah, kitchen garden amazing. pasta. Mm. What have you got, darling? I have the tuna tartare. With and avocado then, and yeah. micro greens. Yeah. And then I've got the what they call the chicken Caesar power salad, so it's so healthy, yummy. But lovely. And a coconut water full of electrolytes. Yum! So we have had a delicious lunch at the chill bar, and now we've come to the main structure by reception because one of the members of staff here that actually makes the kombucha on the island, he's going to give us a little kombucha masterclass and um, kombucha tasting, which is going to be really lovely. We've met a really nice guy here on the island named Sam, and he's just as passionate about kombucha as we are. So the three of us are going to do this little tasting and masterclass. It's going to be good fun. So let's go. Nearly 28th of January. So it's not even that long ago. Yes. So yeah, it's like quite quick. Making, quite making, quick. Always making. So I'll just keep it here. Wow. So this attractive. is the kombucha that they make here on the island. This one will be ready on the 8th of January. Do you want to explain what that is on top, darling? So that's the scoby, right? Yes, yeah, that's the scoby. On it looks like a stingray. So yeah. <laughs> wow. And the scoby is bacteria? Yeah, it's uh, the full form of scoby is symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. So this, what happens, I'll just explain again one more time. Yeah. It's uh, all about the kombuchas. Uh-huh. So, the, uh, the kombucha is made from uh, tea, black tea. Yeah. We can use any uh, other tea as well, but uh -huh. uh, mostly over here we are using black tea. In black it. tea. We use sugar, water, and the scoby. What so kind scoby? of sugar? Sugar we use uh, normal white, white sugar. sugar. So could you use? Could you use? You can use brown sugar as well. We can use uh, sugar cane. Sugar cane. We never tried. No. Coconut sugar. Never tried the mm -hmm. only what, what happens is in this batch you can see the bubbles on this. So what what happens is we keep it in darker room, not in outside. Yeah. Ah. Cool as well. Cool. Uh, cool means like room temperature. Room temperature yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we cover it from the cloth. We can cover it like normal cloth also, and we just tie it. So what just happened inside it is uh, the Scooby. He will, he will eat all the sugar from it, and wow. it will turn into ethanol. Then that ethanol, after ethanol, it will turn into acidic acid. So that acidic acid is good for like your body as well. Like it's good for your gut. It improves your immune system as well. Boosts your immune system. You can say. Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. So you want me to open this one? That's yeah. Really good. That's the. It's beautiful. <coughs> I love. I love so this is more fizziness. As you can see, this is 23rd. Very old batch. This one. Ah. 23rd October we bottled this one. So this will be very fizzy. It, it, it depends because like might be we use the bottom one. Mm. Bottom one came little sediments left in it. Question for you about the scoby. Yeah. So when you drain this, 
How do you cut a piece of the scoby and uh, keep it in the bottom? Or? No. Uh, so what we do is. Doesn't it produce its own one? In the uh, yeah, stage? inside yeah. the bottle it produces. Ah, oh, wow. So another one comes. Oh, and you can, I see. And you can take this. Didn't you say you reused one right? original scooby that you just so, reused? We, so for example, I, I, I buy one scooby. Okay. just made that one like on October but we this is the really very good ginger and cinnamon so, and with the wow. ginger you yeah. dehydrate again or not uh, we one batch we dehydrated and one batch we just uh, added fresh ones mm. so right, what is this it's a refractor meter yeah you must have one as well yeah 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 I'm gonna try. We're gonna make it. some at home. Yeah, I'm allergic. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so Thank much. You. It's absolutely fascinating. This gentleman is so passionate about his kombucha, and I just want to show you this before we go. So, this rather peculiar looking um, item on top is called a SCOBY, and that is what gives us all of the amazing health benefits of kombucha. SCOBY stands for Symbiotic Colony of Bacteria and Yeast, and it's activating and fermenting the tea inside here. To make a kombucha, it's essentially tea, sugar, and water, but this, the bacteria, actually kind of survives off and eats away at the sugar. So it's not a hugely sugary drink when we consume it, um, but just has so, so many different health benefits. After our kombucha class, Charlie and I are the last ones standing on the beach, but we're going to stay here for another half an hour. And I'm moving on to my third book of the trip. This one is called Food Isn't Medicine, How Misinformation is Harming Our Health. Someone actually recommended this to me, saying that it was a good kind of um, opposing ideas book to some of the things that I've been talking about recently. I think it'll be really interesting to hear the other side of the story, especially because I've, I feel like everything that I've been consuming lately has all been very, you know, pointing to the same ideals. Very intrigued to get started because the first chapter is called Pringles and Ice Cream. And that those are two examples that I very often give when it comes to ultra processed um, food. So yeah, it'd be very interesting to get the other side of the opinion. I shall report back. It is about, oh, I'm not quite sure where the neckline on this needs to sit. Um, it's about 7 p.m. 
the sun is just setting. Today has probably been our best weather day of the trip so far. It was cloudy but not in a way that bothered us the first week of the trip. Um, we did have that one day of rain, I don't think I vlogged that day, maybe I hadn't even started vlogging, um, but today has pretty much been pure sunshine the whole day, the perfect breeze that you don't get too hot and sweaty when you're just sat there, even though yesterday was really sunny, it was also quite humid, um, so I needed my fan <laughs> with me at all times, but as you might be able to hear from the lapping waves and the bristling of the thatched roofs, there's a really nice breeze today, which is gorgeous. So uh, we are heading back to the Zen restaurant tonight, which is the Japanese, which is really, really delicious food. Um, we're on a bed and breakfast basis here, so no like set menus or anything, so we can choose whatever we like, which is great. And there's some really nice sushis. I don't eat fish, <laughs> which is sacrilege here, but they do a really lovely avocado sushi and uh, chicken teriyaki, as well as lots of other yummy things. So it's going to be delicious. Again, you might have deja vu because this exact time last year, on this exact spot, <laughs> I showed you this dress. Um, I got this from Farfetch for our Maldives trip last year and I bought it again this year. It feels perfect for the Japanese restaurants. I think this is a hibiscus flower. It's such a beautiful colour. One one sleeved um, with little feathers on this side. Usual jewellery and again I just whizzed over, I don't know why I bother, but I just whizzed over my hair. I've got the GHD glide with me. That's the only hair tool that I bought just to smooth out the kinks from having my hair in a bun all day. So that's the plan, Charlie's is finishing off getting ready and then we're going to head over to Zen restaurant. I think I will probably also end this vlog today, now, um, because to be honest I've got no idea how much I've filmed. I feel like I've been so chilled during this trip that I've probably not vlogged it to the best of my ability, but I'm sure you'll be very forgiving given that it is our honeymoon after all. Um, but yes, it's been lovely to share these memories with you. I may do another one. <laughs> I did last year. Um, I did two within a 12 day period, but yeah, who knows, not promising anything. But I have very much enjoyed bringing you guys along. I will bring you along for dinner this evening, but I'm going to officially sign off and say thank you for watching. If you got this far in the vlog, leave the word hibiscus <laughs> in your comments. Um, and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, that would be magical. And my darlings, I will see you very soon in the next one. Good night! our honeymoon vlog with a compliment that my husband just paid me with regards to my outfit of the evening. Would you like to repeat what so you just said that I look like? Yeah. It, it was very much said as, a, as an affectionate... A term of endearment. An affectionate jibe. And right. the jibe was that your dress, I, I love all your outfits, that dress isn't my favourite because I think you look a bit like packaging for, you know those like, you know if you go to a Chinese restaurant or something, they give you those like wipes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm obviously only joking. I look like I'm, a hand sanitizer wipe. I'm obviously wiping it up, but there you go. Thank you, darling. I am so grateful. You'll lots of stress as a result. I'm sure. Because everyone wants to look like a hand sanitizer wipe. <laughs> this is a matcha parfait with chocolate and I think passion fruit. Smashing it. Good. <laughs> That's really nice. Yay.